Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bojee from Jacob. Welcome on my channel. In this video, we are going to set up uh, this ABB VFD drive on on off switch. It's really simple and uh, I was struggling because we never used this drive before. We were using the Allen Bradley's. Uh, those are pretty simple. They're used like a lot of years. So uh, similar with those one, but this one not. So. I have to read a couple of instructions, so I finally figured out. So in this video, we will be set up uh, this VFD, and here's the model number. Is that's the model number? So first, we have to set up. So we are just going to use like a black on-off switch. Like I have a one here. We're gonna we gonna use like this kind of switch. So how you set up? So first, let's go to the wire. If you look at under. This VFD, you see the yellow wire is connected to uh, terminal number 9 and this brown wire to terminal number 12. So number 9 is the low voltage power coming out of the VFD, goes to the switch. Once you turn the switch on, it's going to complete the circuit and brown wire is going to bring that power back here. And here I have a jump. So basically, yellow wire is going to go to the switch. And it's gonna turn on and off, and when circuit is gonna complete, it's gonna bring power back to number 12, and your drive is gonna start. That's the wiring. But for on off switch, I'm going to use this auxiliary contact on the side of the contact block. Anytime this contact block or this motor is gonna be turned on, it's gonna make this circuit, it's gonna complete, and this drive is gonna start. So, as far as the wiring, you just put an on off switch and you just put one side on the terminal number 9, other side on the 12, 10 and 11 need to be jumped. And here on the program wise, at the screen, if we turn on right now, it's not gonna start. If I turn on and drive didn't start, so let's set up for uh, a remote start. On the menu button, first we're gonna press menu. At the premier, we're gonna press enter. From here, we have to choose parameter number 99, startup data. And you're gonna choose this one. If there's no, you have to scroll down. You can see all the numbers go. When you go to the number 99, you will see startup data. You have to find 99. So here, select. From here, first one, you have a language. If you see 99,002, it says uh, application macro. I have a set of three wire. We have to change this one. You click edit. Now you press these buttons. You can scroll up and down. We need a ABB standard. Alternate, motor part, hand out, PID, torque, AC. We need to find the one ABB standard. You can go up down. So ABB standard is set already from remote control. Click on save. Just go back. Here, you see it says REM, make sure if uh, this one REM, if it's not, you have to press and hold this button. I'm gonna press, now you can see REM. It also can go to local. So that's the way you can change. Right now it's local, we're gonna press REM. Now remote, if I uh, make this contact, this drive gonna start, let's see. I'm gonna... So now we have everything set up, so let's start. I'm gonna reset this uh, contact. This contact will make, and this circuit is gonna complete, and drive is gonna start from the remote. Here we go. That's the way you can uh, set up your uh, ACS 355 VFD drive from remote on a switch.